Hey everybody, my name is Tony Caridi with Avid and I'm at NAM 2015 and um, we have some really exciting announcements. First of all, Pro Tools first, completely free, a completely free version of Pro Tools software, letting anybody use the same tools, the industry standard uh, Pro Tools tool set um, to get their voice heard, to get lay down tracks to, uh, for all their audio production needs. Um, so check out uh, avid.com forward slash Pro Tools first. When do you try Pro Tools first? Uh, if you want to bump it up a notch, take it to the next level, you can get onto a Pro Tools uh, 12 system now, easier than ever, because we've rolled out subscription offerings, so you can get onto a full-fledged Pro Tools uh, system for $29.99 a month in U.S. dollars. Uh, if you want to commit for the full year, it's as little as $299. That's something like $24, $25 a month. Fantastic deal to get the industry standard uh, Pro Tools software. Plus. Pro Tools now, we're going to be rolling out this early access program, so anyone really passionate about getting, starting to collaborate can start using the Avid Cloud Collaboration and get uh, on those capabilities before the public release. So you can go to avid.com, sign up for early access today. Um, also, coming with Pro Tools 12 in the coming months, you're going to start seeing uh, a marketplace, meaning in-app purchases, um, meaning a, mar uh, a content marketplace so you can get up there, sell your content, connect with the biggest community of media professionals in, in the world, um, and start making money from your work. And thirdly, we're going to be building out this really, really exciting uh, social uh, networking platform called the Artist Community. So you'll be able to not only go up there, sell your work, and collaborate with people, but you'll be able to create a profile, um, you know, describe yourself as maybe a, uh, a musician or a producer or an engineer, maybe an educator. Um, and be able to find other people you're looking for, maybe to collaborate, uh, maybe find a singer for your song. Um, so really, really exciting stuff to help uh, not only facilitate uh, collaboration, make you more efficient, but also make it easier maybe to start making money from what you do. Okay, so some questions now. Um, current, well first of all, when is Pro Tools 12 actually gonna be released? Do you have a date yet? Pro Tools 12 is gonna be available later this quarter. Okay. And um, so if somebody is already a Pro Tools 11 owner, what's going to happen with them as far as the subscription model and the whole thing if they want to go up to 12? So if you're already an existing owner, you have what's called a perpetual license, like your traditional perpetual license. And we want to make sure that people have complete flexibility to get into Pro Tools the way they want. So you'll be able to continue to get the perpetual license or to get into the subscription that we mentioned earlier. If you've already invested in the perpetual license, What's really exciting is Pro Tools 12 really marks a fundamental change in the way we're going to be delivering updates and the way customers are going to receive them moving right. forward. So, as an existing owner, you've already made that upfront investment into the perpetual license. You get a fantastic deal at $199 a year. You are guaranteed for 12 months to always stay current, always stay on the latest version of software. Plus, as part of that, you get a much higher level of support, of phone support, if you ever need to contact us because of a technical issue or what have you. So $199 for the entire year, that works out to be something like $16 and change to always be on the latest version of Pro Tools software. So really exciting for new people to come on, starting with a free version, on-road really kind of, um, you know, affordably with a subscription. Right. And if you've already invested, we make it really affordable to stay on top. And the, the free version, um, I know it's a 16 track limit. What, what other uh, differences are there between that and the flagship? So it's not, you know, the vast majority of everything is identical. The key things that, the, the main things that are not in there, you won't find notation. Um, it's kind of the Sibelius integration is not in there. You don't have uh, support for video tracks in the free version, um, and Beat Detective is removed. Okay. Besides that, you know, you've got, you've got, um, you've got uh, Elastic Audio, you've got Elastic Time, you know, this is really, really, you know, you've got all of the, the, the kind of core functionality, editing and recording functionality that you would have in the standard Pro Tools version. The other thing that's a, a limitation in the free version is that you're limited to three projects. So uh, with Pro Tools first, your sessions live in the cloud, kind of a similar setup you'd have when you use Evernote or, or other applications that are kind of cloud-based. So when you're recording, when you're creating, your, um, your media obviously is living local, but the, the main content is really living in the cloud. Uh, so the limitation that's imposed on the, on the uh, free version is that you have up to three different projects with Pro Tools first. At, at a time? Three different projects at a time. Okay. Yeah, so if you wanted to, let's call projects could be a song. Uh, once, you, once you have those three projects, you've kind of hit your limit until maybe you want to bump up to a subscription or something like that. I see. Um, 
you know, you have flexibility in erasing those and kind of starting over, but three projects is the other limitation. And can you download like stems from your project if you wanted to, you know? There's no local media. So what will happen, what's yeah. really exciting about Pro Tools First is that when the Avid Cloud collaboration yeah. comes to Pro Tools software, it's also going to be coming to Pro Tools First, which means anybody in the world with an internet connection pretty much will be able to connect to anyone else with a Pro Tools system and have these really integrated uh, collaborative workflows. So in the coming months when somebody's working on Pro Tools first and they want to bring it to maybe a, a, a they got a big break, they want to bring yeah. it to a facility or they have a colleague or a friend uh, who has got a you know a, a, a Pro Tools system with like you know a nice project studio they'll simply be able to invite them through a collaborative invite directly from within Pro Tools and then all of that would be pulled down to the local drives on the on the Pro Tools system. I see. Uh, but I if they are just working in Pro Tools first. How do they access a mix of their project? It's only going to be something they can play from the cloud. Oh, they, they, you can you can share your project. You, you can share. Um, you can output you know stereo mixes and things oh, like okay. that. Absolutely. I see. Just not individual tracks. Yeah, it's if you, it, it doesn't have uh, you don't have the ability to take the session files and then port them somewhere else. You'd be doing that through the uh, Avid collaboration cloud collaboration workflows. And the plugin set is the same. The plugin set, it comes with uh, something like 20, 20 something plugins. Um, there are a number of plugins that we released at the same, that we're releasing at the same time that are really affordable. They're all going to be available as an in app purchase through um, the Marketplace App Store. Uh -huh. And those plugins are really affordably priced, like kind of, you know, a nice cup of coffee or, or something like that, that, that type of a price. Wow. Uh, so, the, the, the plugin set, it does use AAX plugins, you know, it's still the same format and all that, uh, but those plugins it would support would be uh, purchased through the app, the app, I see. app so, store. So it doesn't have any to start with? Or no, it comes, it comes, it comes with, with the yeah. stock 20, 20 oh, something okay, plugins. And in addition, yeah, gotcha. we've released the, uh, 17 or so effects that came from the 11 rack, oh, a whole cool. bunch of stomp boxes. So that's kind of the first wave of uh, really affordable plugins that will be available through these in-app purchases. Cool. Kind of one, targeting this customer. One last question: the Pro Tools 12 itself, the full version, from a from a production features standpoint, is it going to be different, or is it just going to be that you can add a lot of stuff to it? Say say the question. In other again. words, is, are there going to be new features in Pro Tools 12 that are not in Pro Tools 11, other than the cloud collaboration and the purchase plugin stuff? So Pro, Pro Tools. 12 initially is not a it's not a feature release. It's okay. a it it's a it's a big version change for us because uh, and also for the cut for customers because it really does mark a fundamental change in the way we're going to be delivering releases. Right. For instance, prior to this, every 18 24 months there would be a big uh, software release. Pro Tools 9, Pro Tools 10, Pro Tools 11. Those had a lot of functionality in them. And um, from a development side, what has to happen is you know, you kind of scope out what, 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 what's the next thing you want to do and you build in a long list of features because you need to build value for everybody out there. You need, you need to make it worth their while to do the upgrade. Right. But what happens is you need to stockpile a bunch of features before you can do the release, which is why it takes so long. With this transition to subscription and to annual renewable upgrade plans, what we're able to do is be incredibly agile. So if we have you know, one small little feature, we don't have to hold it back, we can release it. We can have smaller updates on a much more frequent basis. Um, and we've, if, uh, you know, if anyone out there is familiar with uh, Avid Media Composer, we did this transition uh, last year and you can already see, we've, we've already you know, kind of shown that user base what, what happens when you transition to that kind of a service model. Right. They're getting much more frequent updates than they ever have before. Right. Uh, so you can expect the same type of transition on the Pro Tools side. You won't have to, um, you know, you're just going to get these as a matter of course. And you'll always be running the latest version. And you'll always be running the latest yep. version. So it also uh, kind of circumvents this other issue where people will buy, you know, uh, 11 rack or they'll buy an Mbox Pro or an HD native system or, or even just Pro Tools software. And then maybe what happens if they time it in a way where a new version comes out a couple months later um, it can kind of create this this feeling like oh you you, you know you missed out or something. Right. With this model, whenever you're buying a perpetual license, you're going to get the 12 months of, up, of future upgrades included with that purchase. If you're on a subscription, as a part of that 
you know, subscription term, you're always on the latest version. So you never have to worry about, oh, I missed the cutoff date or something like right. this. Gotcha. Great. Well, thanks, Tony. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right.